right, what's on the bench today? Well, we have two boxes. Uh, these boxes are from Keysight, and they were hand delivered today uh, by a nice fellow. And um, let's open them up, see what I got. Um, these are for me to keep. So uh, this was a giveaway at a trade show. And uh, it is one of those one ruler to rule them all type of things. Uh, can you see that? We'll get it up closer here. So it's got some cool fractal antenna thing and filters and a lot of RF magic on this on this board. Uh, different lengths of uh, quarter wavelengths of uh, different gigahertzes. That's that's kind of a handy thing to have. Um, different filters you might see in, in boards and stuff. Let me put this down and give you a better a better view of it. There you go. Um, so yeah, microstrip, one ounce copper, FR4, 0.8 millimeter, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pretty, pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool ruler. I've got a big collection of rulers, so uh, cool antenna. Um, so I will add that. I guess it comes to a little thing here if you want to, if you want to display it. Okay, anyway, that's in box number one. That's a nice box. Okay. Uh, we got a package of stuff. And I got a package of stuff. And yeah, let me. Uh, certificate of calibration. Nothing but the best from Keysight. All right, it's a cute little oscilloscope. Uh, 100 megahertz, uh, two giga samples per second. A perfectly good bench, uh, perfectly good uh, oscilloscope for the bench. So I have a place I want to put this. Um, in addition to the garage, I have a tiny little um, lab that I keep on my office desk just to quickly check things out. I've got a power supply and a frequency counter, uh, uh, a Fluke uh, DVM, a uh, real nice one. And I have a old Tektronix Sony uh, oscilloscope. It's a 60 gigahertz oscilloscope, half analog, half digital. And uh, I am going to replace that with this, having a nice uh, digital scope on my... Uh, On a bench will be good. All right, let's turn this thing on. Uh, what's it got on it? Uh, looks like a LAN connection, and that's it. Just a power on the back, and uh, away we go. So let's. Uh, we got some probes in the box here. Like we got a scope probe. We have a, <laughs> a anti-static bag for our power cord. That's a bit overkill, wouldn't you think? Ah, it comes with a uh, comes with a European cord, so <laughs> I can't use that. Oh well. Uh, Oh, there we go. We got a flash screen here. The lights are blinking on and off. All right, and we're up and running. Uh, so this is a two-channel scope. It has a generator output um, and external trigger. So let's get one of the supplied probes. Let's see if I like those. All right, so we have a probe. We can hook it up to the uh, to the demo here. It says demo. That's interesting. And trigger. There we go. It's triggering. That's the vertical. Horizontal's up here. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, run stop. Single. Most scopes are all the same these days. Waveform, it'll do FFT. Um, 
wave generator. Let's turn on the wave generator. Sine wave, we can do, uh, let's do a ramp. Uh, let's see, sine, ramp, okay. And if we go to the generator out, uh, looks like we have a ramp. Yeah. And trigger. There we go. So I like it. It's going to great make great little addition to my my home office. Um, like I said, the one I've got, it's a little bit. It works fine, uh, but it has a tiny little display. It has a little display about yay big. <laughs> it's very very small, even smaller than this. Really really small, about the size of, of an old DVM. Uh, pretty incredible. See, so we have a zoom function. Okay, so you get you get the top and bottom, choir, auto scale. Hit the auto scale button, puts it all on the screen for you. Default setup. Uh, trigger level, force trigger. Um, reference math, FFT. Let's see here, FFT. Yeah, there's the FFT showing up. We can turn off one. Here we go. Um, let's see, all of our FFT span center. Yeah. Looks very nice. I like it. Well, a big thanks to, uh, to Keysight for supplying this to me. Um, it will come in very, very handy. <laughs>